In this video, we will be concentrating on 2.4 day one material. 2.4 is called solving equations with variables on both sides. So that means we're going to have a variable, which is an, a letter, on both sides of the equation. We're going to have to combine like terms. So to solve equations with variables on both sides, you can use the properties of equality addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We've learned this in the past chapter. And also inverse operations. Remember, another word for inverse is opposite. We will use these two things to write a series of simpler equivalent equations. So that just means we're simplifying and combining like terms. In example one, we have 5x plus 2 equals 2x plus 14. Let's identify the like terms. Uh, we have 5x and 2x and 2 and 14. So I'm grouping them. The double underlines are the x terms and the single double underlines are the constants. So how can we combine the 5x and the 2x? They're currently on opposite sides of the equation. So we will need to do opposite operations. We're going to subtract 2x from both sides. And the reason why we're subtracting is because that 2x is originally positive. So in order to get rid of positive 2x, we have to subtract 2x. Now we can cross out the 2x's, that's just 0 over there, and subtract. 5x minus 2x is 3x. When you combine like terms, you're keeping the variable exactly the same. The x comes down, and then you just focus on the numbers in front. 5 minus 2, and that's 3x. Now we have 2 and 14. Let's bring those down. Okay, now we're at the point where we have a two-step equation, and hopefully we are pretty familiar with these now. We need to bring that positive 2 to the other side, and the way we do that is we subtract 2. Minus 2, minus 2, cross that out, that's 0. Now bring down 3x, and that's 12. And we are at a one-step equation. Let's divide both sides by 3, and cross out the 3s, that's 1. x equals 4. So 4 is our solution. Now the way that we would check, real quick, we take that 4 and plug it in for the x on both sides. 5 times 4 plus 2 equals question mark. 2 times 4 plus 14. So as you can see, I went up to the original equation and I just plugged in the 4 for the x in, on both sides. Let's do our mental math real quick. 5 times 4 is 20. 20 plus 2. And then 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus 14. That's 22 on the left and 22 on the right, so it works. Example 2 is an ap application problem. It says it takes a graphic designer 1.5, one and a half hours to make one page on a website. Using new software, the designer could complete each page in 1.25 hours, but it takes 8 hours to learn the software. How many web pages would the designer have to make in order to save time using the new software? So what we need to do is set up an equation. And remember, I have mentioned this before, we need to identify or define our variable first. And you always do that by looking at the question at the end. How many web pages? That's what we're looking for. How many? So we're going to say, P equals number of web pages the designer needs to make in order for them to be equal to each other. So we're comparing the current design time with the new design time, but remember the newer one requires us to learn the software before we use it, and that takes eight hours. So let's set up a little model. Current design time. Equals. Design time with new software. 
Or we could say new design time. plus the time it takes to learn the software. Oh. Sorry about that. Time it takes to learn software. Okay, current design time. It's one and a half hours per page. So the way that we write that, instead of doing one and a half plus itself plus itself, remember, multiplication is repeated addition. So we can write 1.5p, because you're multiplying the time it takes for each page to be made and the number of pages made. And the, the new design time is 1.25, slightly shorter, but then it takes how many hours? Eight hours to learn the new software. So there's our equation. And as you can see, there are like terms involved, the p-values. So we're going to combine like terms by doing opposite operations. And the reason why we have to do opposite operations is because they are not on the same side of the equals. And on the left side, you get 0.25p. These cancel out, and you bring down the 8. Now one more step. In order to get the p by itself, we have to divide by the number in front because they're attached by multiplication right now. Now p is by itself, and 8 divided by 0.25 is 32. So what does this answer mean? This means that if the designer was to make 32 web pages, she would, he or she would spend the same amount of time using the new software and also the old software. But the question said, how many web pages would the designer have to make in order to save time? 32 pages, this person would not be saving time. They would be using the exact same amount of time using either software. So what we need to do is make more than 32. So the next amount of pages would be 33. So what we're going to say is the designer must make 33 pages or more in order to save time using the new software. And we're done. And you may be wondering why we're not doing less than 32. If we were to use less than 32 pages, then it would be a better idea to use the current software. So that's why we're going for 33 pages or more in order to save time using the new software. Feel free to pause this right now if you need to catch up. And the lesson check is up next, but you can wait until we do the problems together during class.